नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी विल बी सॉल्विंग फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम एस आर एप्टी टू टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू नाउ आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड सोल्यूशंस टू फिफ्टीन एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम फिजिक्स आई एस आर एप्टी टू टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो वेर आर दीज एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन कमिंग फ्रॉम द थिंग इज इट टर्नस आउट दैट देर वर एटलीस्ट टू सेट्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस 2022 ट्वेंटी टू एडिशन ऑफ एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट एंड द क्वेश्चन दैट आई रिसीव्ड सम ऑफ देम आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द ऑफिशियल पी डी एफ विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन देर वेबसाइट सो इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई विल बी सॉल्विंग दोज क्वेश्चन विच आर नॉट देर इन माई करंट प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फिजिक्स देर आर सम क्वेश्चन विच आर कॉमन टू बोथ ऑफ दैम बट इन दिस सीरीज वी विल बी सॉल्विंग दोज वंस which are uncommon the first question happens to be one of them question 1 a particle experiences an acceleration a bar equal to alpha v bar where v bar is the velocity of the particle and alpha is a constant if the distance is traveled by the particle in the time intervals t2 minus t1 and t3 minus t1 or s12 and s13 respectively which of the following relations is true and uh, we are required to find the ratio of the distances traveled uh, in between t3 and t1 and in between t2 and t1 notice that acceleration is collinear with velocity that is what this relation tells us whenever a vector is a scalar multiple of the other they both are collinear in other words they are they have the same direction okay and because they have the same direction all the time we can actually drop the vector notation and adopt the scalar notation so a is equal to alpha v this is still a vector equation but uh, we know that because their directions are all, are always going to be the same uh, we are representing it uh, without the vector notation now because we want the distance let us first use the derivative form so a is dv by dt equal to alpha v this is now variable separable differential equation dv by v is equal to alpha dt let us integrate this now so when you integrate this what are we going to get ln v okay is equal to uh, alpha t plus let us say c okay or v equal to e to the power alpha t plus c let us take e raised to c as a so that is now an arbitrary constant uh into e raised to alpha t okay so the velocity is now i mean we can see that velocity is increasing exponentially or decreasing okay we don't know but uh, we know that the derivative of e raised to alpha t it is either entirely positive or entirely negative depending on the sign of a and the value of alpha we know that if it is negative it will be negative if it is positive then it will be positive okay so we are not required to worry about the sign and all other things and therefore the displacement is the same as the magnitude uh, is the same as the distance traveled there will not be any direction reversal okay that is a very nice property of exponential function no direction reversal that is ensured okay therefore now what is d uh, what is v is it not ds by dt yes it is ds by dt is a e to the power alpha t again this is a variable separable differential equation so s is equal to uh a e to the power alpha t upon alpha plus uh, this time let us call it d the arbitrary constant okay uh, we want uh, s13 and s12 is ratio so s13 upon s12 will be now observe that uh, the arbitrary constant is not going to play any role whatsoever because we know that in definite integration arbitrary constant has no role to play so it will be a by alpha into bracket e to the power alpha t3 minus e to the power alpha t1 right because when you integrate it is t3 first and then t1 isn't it 
and same thing with this a by alpha into bracket this time because it is a s12 it is e to the power alpha t2 minus e to the power alpha t1 a by alpha a by alpha goes now the thing is we don't have this in our options do we uh, looks like we don't uh, for sure option c and d are not there because uh, they have log and in our solution we have only exponential functions Achha. now if we take e to the power alpha t1 common okay from the numerator then what will we get e to the power alpha t3 minus t1 minus 1 upon e to the power alpha t1 into bracket e to the power alpha t2 minus t1 minus 1 e to the power alpha t1 goes and the one with the negative one in both the terms should be our option and that is option a right exponential that is e raised to alpha t3 minus t1 minus 1 yes so correct option 2 question number 1 is option 